Hey guys, welcome to the DCEU Ranked. And this is the only list, the only correct list. Your list is wrong, your rankings are wrong, our rankings are right, my rankings are right. Well, my list, what happens if my list doesn't match up with your list? Well then, are, are you wrong? these three You're lists. Wrong. I'm right. I'm right. Let's see. My You're list. wrong. Your list better be the same as my list. Ooh, okay. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to take the DCEU so far, seven films officially, yeah. starting with Man of Steel. We're going to rate them. And this is our opportunity to re-examine our ratings. Because honestly, when we first started rating movies, we were not very good. <laughs> and we were a little overly generous to some films. Joe? Yes. And Joe was guilty of it, too. Now, this was all before Alex came, so Alex doesn't share the blame in this. You, you dodge the bullet on that one. But you know what? We grow as critics. And sometimes you realize you were wrong in certain things, and you were right in others. And uh, there's some really embarrassing ratings that I've given DCEU films, probably because I'm not exactly I, – I am biased in a certain way. I will make that admission. But I'm telling you this is the definitive list. So, first off, go out and see Shazam. If you haven't seen Shazam, it's a great film. It needs your help. When I was buying tickets, I didn't notice that it was, like, selling out. Mm -hmm. So I'm actually getting the feeling that Shazam is not going to do it as well worried? as I was hoping it would. Now, I, I don't think it's going to do, like, $1 billion like Captain Marvel or Black Panther. It's not that kind of film. But I want it to do at least better than some of the, the films that are lower on this list. Yeah. You know? Uh, and, and, and so please go out and see Shazam. It really does deserve your money. Joe went and saw Shazam today. I did. So we're going to talk a, a little bit about that. Or no, you know what? We'll just we'll include it when we get to Shazam. Okay. Okay. So let's just jump right into the list. So um, I'm not sure how to start this thing. Should we start at the top or the bottom? Do you want to go bottom. like we have to go to bottom? The bottom? Oh, okay. like what your worst is? We're let's not going to go like bottom. chronologically and where we think the movie fits in on your list. Yeah. No, we're okay. going to start with the bottom. We're going to start with number seven, the worst DCEU film. Now. Many people think. Are we, are we going to agree on this? I'm curious. Many I'm people, curious. because we all rewatch them all. And here's yeah, a lot of things. There's a lot of bias on the internet when, some, when a film comes out and audiences hate on it at the same time. The hate train. Yeah. The hate train and it becomes me maimable. And, and also the opposite can happen. It can come out with really positive rankings and maybe it doesn't quite deserve that much positivity, but it, th that perception r remains and it continues. And I think that actually happened with the bottom movie on my list. Believe it or not, the film I'm most ashamed of rating what I rated it. I rated it very highly, an 8 out of 10. In 2018, I rated... Justice League, an 8 out of 10. And as we were assembling our lists, I realized that Justice League is my least... Up. <laughs> is That we fucked up. We had no idea what we were doing. I let... Here's why I rated I it so high. I think we're just high. so happy. It's like all these things that we grew up are finally getting a movie. Right. That's a hype thing. Too. Well, here's the thing. There were... At the time, there was a lot... I was so mad at the dark and morose you know, DCEU, that, and, and WB was trying to course correct, and then Josh, Josh Sweden, there was just so much marketing bullshit out there, and I think the corporate pushed this as well, and it got under me, and I, it went under my radar, that I felt good about Justice League, but upon re-watching that film, right. it is not good. It's not good. The tone, it, it, it's all over the place. The action is not Existent? Very good. The villain is probably the worst villain out of all seven of these uh, films. I think Justice League has the worst villain, Steppenwolf. Yeah. Just terrible. Really, the saving grace of that film are the Amazonians. You know, at that battle at the beginning, the Amazonians fighting. Um, and, and it's just all over the place. And they should have started. With the Amazonians fighting. Yeah. It doesn't. We, we go around with Batman. We go around with, you know, the, some of this other stuff. And, and after being so pissed off at the waste of Superman's death, 
Justice League is a fucking mess. Why is it at the bottom of my list? And what do I really think it deserves? Well, Justice League is at the bottom because it had so much potential. I mean, you are literally put. This is supposed to be the Justice League. And that's what we got. Yeah. They came together to fight a CGI yeah, monster. They should at least got a first base, but they struck out big with this. He wasn't game. even that much better than Doomsday. Well, you know they, they I mean? also, like, they did all the characters, like, they did them dirty. Like, yeah. Wonder Woman was kind of useless in the whole film. Like, her and Aquaman can't beat the big bad guy. Cyclops they, was just thrown they, in there because they were like, we need something for him to not do. Not Cyclops. Uh, Cyborg. Whatever. He's still useless. Yeah. Uh, Batman you know, they was cut cool. a lot of his scenes, and he was practically useless. I forgot Flash. Like, we were talking about this yesterday. Who's I forgot Flash new- was in this movie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, Flash was in it. He was the comedic relief. Yeah. He was one of the bright spots of that film. But Batman, Wonder Woman got very little to do. Batman was done the worst. Mm-hmm. Batman goes from, in Batman v Superman, it was very controversial to have him kill, to have him be just... So fucking scary. He turns from this scary ass thing to a little bitch. Yeah. Not the only so person not. he fights is Wonder Woman. Like he's constantly like picking fights They're with her for no reason. Constantly bickering back and forth, yeah. and he's unsure of himself, and he's moping, and he's he's crying. Well, uh, he is responsible for Superman's death, except for not really. Superman is responsible for soup. No, the dumbass writers are responsible for Superman's death because it could have just been Wonder Woman to throw the fucking kryptonite spear. She's just as strong as Superman. You fuck. No, because we All saw right. in this movie, she Anyways. can't even beat Steppenwolf. So right. Fucking bad. So what, it's just awful. And then we're following this Russian family, and uh, uh, they're just one family out of nowhere. And they're, they're the only good things are like, as I do like the fact that, you know, there's some jokes in it. Now it's it's very well known that this production was fucked. Zack Snyder had this vision of going very dark. He uh, even I think there was a trilogy whether it be Batman v Superman and then two Justice Leagues or an actual Justice League trilogy, mm-hmm. the shit was going to get dark. Superman, it, he was basically aping uh, Injustice. He mm-hmm. was doing dark Superman. And uh, there's, there's scenes of black-suited Superman. Feel. I, I support the Snyder Cut. I want to see it, but, I'm at it, but what's, it's so complex that I, I do want to see the Snyder Cut, but I'm glad that we didn't go in that direction. I, I'm, I'm just it. I'm really yeah, glad that we didn't go in that direction. It. Now, some people say, Joe, you're wrong. You should we should have just let him finish his thing and then judge it on its complete. And I understand that point of view. But I think that's why I was so easy on Justice League by the end, because I felt happy that we were trying to inject more comedy in there. We were trying to be lighter, but it just doesn't work upon mm-hmm. rewatching it. The only scenes I really liked was at the beginning when they're fighting. Uh, with the Amazonian warriors, and then when Superman, Superman comes back and yes, kicks that everybody's was, that fucking was the best ass. Scene, honestly, that was right. my best scene. Fucking upper lip was a fucking joke. <gasps> you forgot about the upper lip. <laughs> I didn't forget about the upper lip, Joe. What I did is I fucking buried it in my subconscious because Sorry. it ruins fucking we're, you, Superman. We're talking about it. It's it ruined that film forever. How does Justice League open? It opens on a fucking shitty iPhone. Video with his upper lip so bad. Whoever did the CGI, yes. Whoever did the CGI for this permanently ruined. It permanently ruined Superman. And now you know why I think Justice League is the worst DCEU film. It doesn't live up to the premise of what Justice League could have been. It fucks over Superman. It is a, a, a film with mixed tones. And it's just a Frankenstein of a film. And... It's not necessarily, it's, you know, it's just a travesty. So I rated it an 8 out of 10. Ooh. So I fucked up bad. I'm more ashamed of that rating than I am with Suicide Squad, what I rated Suicide Squad. You remember how everybody tries to dismiss me and they're like, yeah, this guy likes Suicide Squad. You should be saying, yeah, this guy likes Justice League. <laughs> mm-hmm. So what did you guys think? What is your lowest? That is, I'm going to agree with you on that. Mine is Justice League. I think all of ours. Unanimous agreement that Justice League is is the the worst worst film. I couldn't watch it. Like, I watched it twice. I could not put myself through another time. I was like, I'm done with this. Yeah, upon rewatching all these films, we were actually able to make it through many of the films. But when we were rewatching Justice League. It just made you angry. It just, it's like, what the fuck did they do? What were they thinking? And it's because DC was rushing. Uh, rushing through. They're in a good spot now. It's uh, just a damn They're in a shame. horrible like spot I said, now. they're heating up. The, I think the DCEU is absolutely on fire and, and spinning out. They've got some bright spots, 
But the DC, well, we can talk about this at the end, but okay. the DCEU proper, the actors don't want to be in it. No one wants to write for this thing. Like, it's, there are three three of the, the biggest characters they've got. We don't, we don't know actors for. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, yeah, you're right. Well, <laughs> but what I'm saying like is the films, like, the films that are coming out are better, Alex. And the DCEU is improving. Yes. So that's where you're wrong. But you're right that the two most famous characters that you thought was going to bring in the tickets aren't bringing in the tickets, yep. and we have no idea what's happening with them. Uh, and, but we will soon. And I really fucking hate DC, and I hate WB for what they did to Superman in Justice League. You, you just give him a fucking beard. That, that would have solved everything. Let him keep his mustache and then let him have grown out a beard yep. and bearded Superman and we wouldn't have such terrible CGI in that film. Moving on. So I gave it a fucking 8 out of 10. Well, I am going to revise my rating for Justice League now. In 2019, after being a critic, after seeing it multiple times in preparation for this. And the extended cut. And <laughs> the extended cut. It is no that, that I didn't watch a Justice League extended cut. I oh, watched okay. an extended cut of Suicide Squad, and I watched an extended well, cut of Batman on, v Superman. Bad. No. Justice League is now a rating of below average. Four out of ten. What do you rate Justice League? Four. What do you rate Justice yeah. League? What did you rate Justice League? I do not know. I want to embarrass Joe. If I have to be embarrassed, Joe has to be do embarrassed. It. Okay I it. <laughs> documented it all. Joe do rated Justice League a 7 out of 10. Okay. So I gave it an 8, and he gave it a 7. And I go down to 4. And I am sorry, guys. Went down People to make a four. mistakes. People That's make what mistakes. We're here. That's what we're, yeah, we're, we're here. Yeah, we're here to. We're here to correct our mistakes. <laughs> yeah. Justice we're League sorry. is a terrible film. And if you want to defend Justice League, if you think it's an 8 out of 10, that's perfectly fine, but you're wrong. Mm. Moving on. <laughs> It's not fine. <laughs> Moving on. Number six. What is our number six mo uh, film? Um, on my rating, which is the only rating that matters. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I oh, okay. don't know how to do this with all three. Um, is Batman v Superman. See, this is where he's wrong. Yeah. It's two, two, I, to, yeah. two, to, <laughs> two to one. Mine is different. Yep. Okay. At the time when it came out, I rated it a six out of ten. I said it was slightly above average. Mm -hmm. And I, I, upon rewatching it, it just makes me mad because this is really where the rails came off of the DCEU for me, the second film in. Okay, I, you know, you, you totally. There's so many stupid plot points with Superman that it makes me so mad. He's emo in it. Everybody thinks that he killed people in Afghanistan because of bullets. Superman doesn't use bullets. He's having they're, they're, uh, Lex, what they did to Lex Luthor, Jolly that, Rancher. That Jolly Rancher scene is haunting. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Lex Luthor, Jesse Eisenberg. I don't know. I understand what he was going for, but it just didn't work here in this film. And it may not even be his fault. It is a little bit his fault. And then just them fighting the, the fight itself is cool as fuck. Don't get me wrong. All the, the two fighting. best parts. Oh, no. yeah, go ahead. The two best parts in Batman v Superman, will you all agree with me, is the, the fight, though it could have been better, and uh, Batman. Warehouse scene. Warehouse scene. Oh, man, it's so good. That's where you're like, this shit is firing on all cylinders. Batman is a goddamn badass. He's the goddamn Batman. That's who Batman yep. is in that one. But if you rewatch it, it's just so dumb. Lois Lane has nothing to do in it. The, the, her side plots go really nowhere, and it's it's pointless and makes no sense in the first place. That people think these, you know, that Superman was the cause of all this. That Superman gets mopey and he flies away, and but yet then, but then Lex Luthor uses Lois as I'm going to drop you because Superman always saves you. So he comes from half the fucking earth because he's exiled himself in the arctic in the fortress of solitude he, he saves lois so he can hear lois and know where he's she faster is faster than the flash we know now but he that can't he's go and save his fucking mom down the street and has no idea can't sense his mom but he can sense lois lane that doesn't make any fucking sense or say simply say hey Batman, man um they got my mom and I'm here. I got to fight you. Her, name's, you her name's Martha. What did you say? <laughs> Can we work together? What did you say her that? name is Martha. It was stupid as fuck. But I will still defend the Martha thing. I know everybody uh, says it's stupid. It's I kind of like it. I thought it was interesting that they, they're they both They could have bonded Martha. over something else. I know. Um, your name is Martha. And then, of course. No, mom's name's no Martha. way. Let's and then, out. of course, the battle and the death of Superman. How fucking dare you? 
that you kill Superman. The second fucking film in, you didn't even earn it. And watch my review with Nostalgia Critic because I put all the points in there as well as I ever fucking could. And that's why I felt they wasted Superman's potential cinematically. They got it wrong. They were rushing. They have the dumbest villain. And they also waste Doomsday they as waste a villain. And, and it makes no sense. Lex Luthor is like, I wanted to put uh, this all on Superman and blame Superman. And he'll get all the fault. But then he releases fucking Doomsday, which he can't fucking control. And it's gonna. everybody's clearly going to blame Doomsday and not Superman. It, it makes no fucking sense. And I, I just... Don't like it. But why is it rated higher? Why, uh, well, why is it above Justice League on my list? I gave it a 6 out of 10. It should really be a 5 out of 10. It is an average film because it gets half of the things right and it gets half of the things so wrong. What does it get right? The action. Why is it a 5 and Justice League is a 4? Well, the, the Batman v Superman, I would have preferred World's Finest. Like them working together and and not this morose fighting and all this shit. Yeah, a little bit of that, yeah, but work like, fucking they together. Work together. And they kind of do that at the end, but it's it's yeah. separate. And uh, they wasted that. But the action is better. I think the action in that film is better than the action in Justice League. I think the action in that film is probably better than most of the action in the rest of the the DCU. Yeah, like the, there's individual fight scenes in that one that I think are like the well, some of the best of the fucking best. drag out fights. Yeah, they're really good. And I I even oh. though Lex Luthor is such a <laughs> Over the top, stupid ass villain. At least I found him more entertaining to watch than Steppenwolf. Oh no, yeah. I, okay. Steppenwolf every single day of the week before yeah. the Jolly Rancher. <laughs> you would take Steppenwolf over Lex. Yeah, over that interpretation of I just see that as like Lex's son that went crazy or something. Nope. <laughs> Anyways, that's that's so Lex Luthor now. What is so that is my number six. What's y'all's number six? Oh, my number six is Suicide Squad. Suicide Squad. Mm. We watched it yesterday, yeah. and I. St Still didn't like it. Okay. And where do you rank Suicide Squad? What rating did you give Suicide Squad? Four probably, out of ten. Probably I have four. It, I have it documented here. What did, rating did you give Suicide Squad, Joe? What, what did I give it? That was another embarrassing error uh, because we were both in on that. And we got so much drunk. shit for <laughs> our also Suicide drunk. Squad rating. You were entertaining a guest. Joe, you gave it an eight Dang. out of ten. Okay. An eight out of ten. What hey, the man. fuck is wrong with you, no Joe? One, no one said I was perfect, man. <laughs> <laughs> so Every, what would everyone you give? Is, everyone in chat let's, right now is like, Joe, OJ that. is perfect. Half it. So four out of ten? Say, maybe. A, yeah. I Joe, we watched it. it together. Yeah. That wasn't no four out of ten. We you you liked it. That you shit. you didn't ones. hate it. Well, compared to the other ones on the list, we're making the list. Don't let that. Don't let the peer pressure from this guy. No, it's get higher. You because we'll fight all I day long. I did like on the soundtrack, but there is still like a lot. That's why it's an average film, Joe. We'll see. What do you mean? We'll see. We have to do the ranking <laughs> right now. You're supposed Half to. Half that. Five out of ten. Yeah, for my sixth place. Five out of ten. Okay, so Justice League four out of ten. Ju Suicide Squad five out of ten. Is that what you're doing? Final answer? Yeah. I, like, this I, is the end all be all list, Joe. It's either four or it's five. If you made me watch another one, like right now, like which would you rather watch? I'd rather, because I was forced to watch Suicide Squad yesterday, I'd rather watch Justice League. That's fucking would, irrelevant. No, That's would, 100. I would watch, Just, I would watch Suicide yeah, Squad. So, yeah, let's and, do it. So Let's it's five it. out of ten. And let me address Suicide Squad because that is my surprising number five. Everybody out there in our comment section is probably going to say Suicide Squad is the worst because mm -hmm. it is this meme. It is this thing where it's like, hey, this is the worst film of all time. Rewatch Suicide Squad. It is not. It is actually really entertaining. It's got a great soundtrack. It's got great visuals. It's got interesting characters. It's got uh, uh, tension in its fights. It's got some character arcs. El Diablo, I really liked that character. I Who's even the liked one? the final battle. I even liked Enchantress, and I liked her gy gy Everybody makes fun of her gyrations. <laughs> I'm like, you know what? I don't like the fact that she's so pretty and baby face looking. They should have kept her original like dark, dirty moon during the gyrations. That would have been way more like fucking creepy. But she's instead she's perfect skin and she's so dainty looking. And it just it look the just position. It's just ugh, it looks off. Um, but I rewatched Suicide Squad and, you know, I realized that I succumbed to peer pressure 
I let you guys bully me on Suicide Squad. I rewatched the extended cut, and I realized this movie is entertaining me. And all the criticisms that, you know, everybody had that it's disjointed, it's all over the place. I think Suicide Squad was executed about as well as you could have for its concept. If you read Suicide Squad comics, it's a really very faithful recreation of that. You got these little individual stories for each character. They were like, oh, my God, and what, what, do we need backstory for every single one of these characters? Yeah, and then it does that. And then they're, oh, my God, there's too many backstories for every one of these characters. It's like Not this, slip now. Just because – but just because the source material is bad doesn't mean you need to translate it into the same yeah, thing. Yeah, so I mean. this is this is Alex's, you know, uh, counter to me every single time because he likes <laughs> Suicide Squad less than I do, yeah. but not that much less than No, I, do. I don't think it's horrible. It's not the worst movie I've ever seen. I didn't enjoy it yesterday. Because, because you I've can take a, bunch a, con of a stupid concept, like Thor is now one of the most popular fucking heroes, and he's kind of stupid in the comics. Yeah. And, and Guardians of the Galaxy, people are like, that, that could never work. So I can understand that you could take a source material and, and elevate it. it. Yep. To me, this was a perfect adaption of the source material. It nailed what it wanted to nail, and it really got Suicide Squad. And I actually felt for some of the characters. And I think Harley Quinn is a good character. I think Deadshot is a good character. I think fucking El Diablo is a good character. And I liked some of the side characters in there as well. Slipknot. And Slipknot is one of the best characters of all time. Thank is you. the best backstory we've ever seen. <laughs> he can climb stuff real good. Yeah. I just love how they introduce him. That he comes out of like a truck. He's like, Slipknot, the man who can climb everything. Be because we know you don't know who this guy is, so we have to tell you that he can climb stuff. So, so over time, I lowered and lowered uh, and lowered my rating to appease my fan base. And I realized I was betraying if myself. If you like it. You yeah. like it. If I like something, I have to own it. And I say, you know what? I do like its dumb parts. That's why I like it, because it's fucking dumb. And sometimes my ratings are reflect that I like something dumb. And I just didn't articulate enough that I knew it was dumb. I knew it was pulpy. I knew it was stupid and of these parts. But it was just fun to watch and come together. And I liked it. So and number five, it, it, I gave it an 8 out of 10. Just like Joe gave it at the time. And the movie-going experience affects that a lot. We drank heavily when we watched Suicide Squad the first time. And we had fans of the Angry Army watch it with us. So that was an experience. So we were just high on it at 8 out of 10. It is not an 8 out of 10. I will agree with that. Now, upon rewatching completely sober and then rewatching again an extended cut, I realized, you know what? I fucking like this film. And I'll own it. Suicide Squad, to me... Now I'm looking at my rating, and I'm kind of teetering. No. But I gave <laughs> no. it a 7. I gave it a 7 out of 10, um, and, and I think it deserves a 7. It's entertaining enough. If you go, and I wrote all my notes, the helicopter bursting flares, the fucking, you know, the minigun joker, uh, the, you know, uh, fight scenes, the ridiculousness of Harley uh, being able to compete, the Enchantress fighting them on their own terms to test their abilities. Because we all know Suicide Squad as a concept is fucking stupid. They cannot handle a team. They can't handle a team villains. And they handle a team villains in the comics. And they handle a team villains in this. And everybody's like, that's so fucking stupid. Stupid, they'd all be dead and Harley would be dead. And yes, but that's an inherent problem with the concepts and they executed it w about as well enough as they could here. That is my defense of Suicide Squad. It is a 7 out of 10 and it is the f number 5 uh, film. What is y'all's number 5? Mine Alex. Is, oh, Alex, go ahead. Batman v Superman. Oh, that's what you have? Batman me, v Superman. Me too. So I hated the story of Batman v Superman. I hate Lex Luthor, mm -hmm. I hate Doomsday. But you nail, I think you you nailed the the good parts of, of Batman fight. v Superman. When you see a bat, when you knew what you're getting into, right? Mm -hmm. No one goes to Batman v Superman and expects Ben Affleck to blow you away with his acting. This isn't Argo. This isn't one of any of the other movies he does where he's got a Boston yeah. accent. He can act. You're not expecting Ben Affleck to act. You expect Ben Affleck to punch Henry Cavill in the face. And he does. And then he punches all of these other dudes <laughs> in that warehouse. And it is a yeah. garbage fire of he a story. He punches everybody. And the action. I think he punches Lois at one point. He should. <laughs> I mean, yeah. But like all of the things that I wanted to see in that film, 
other than the garbage story, I actually kind of saw. I guess it was an action movie. It was a comic book movie where I'm expecting these two juggernauts, these two characters that I love, go at it. The reasons they did it were stupid, and I hated that ah. part. But that's why this gets this goes above Suicide Squad and above Justice League because at least action. I got something out of it you and something I was. Ex- it met some of my expectations. Suicide Squad hit none of my expectations. I was expecting to, a good story, didn't get it. Character arcs that I approved of. Didn't get them. I didn't like anything about that movie, and it was below average and pretty uh, below my expectations in every way. You're allowed to like it, internet. You're allowed people are allowed to like stuff, I guess. Batman v Superman at least hit a couple of my expectations, and that's why it's higher than the other two. You gave it a six out of ten. Is that what you're sticking to? No, I think it's a five. I think that the bar not only has our uh, we refined. I was just wrong, like, but we've also refined how we review things. We've seen a lot more comic book movies, yeah. and we're watching Tons. some of these things. You realize that, man, that Jolly Rancher scene, like, I'm going to have you nightmares. Know, you, changed your, you changed your rating from haunted. six to five based on that Jolly Rancher scene hey, alone, hey, it feels hey, like. It That's is. what it, it feels him. like. It haunted him. <laughs> yeah, for me, I really like the fighting scene. Everything else is pretty dumb. Uh, the way Superman was kicking uh, Batman's ass, he's like, a scene a week when I... Uh, Make some booby traps. Yeah, yeah, I'm give, me, up. give me some time to train. In a week, I'll fight you. <laughs> <laughs> then they come back, and then he starts whooping his ass. That was pretty funny. He did a lot of pull-ups and stuff. He got really strong. <laughs> Whatever. It made me laugh. Yeah. Like, I like that one better. I would rather watch that one than the other two. Though. Yeah. Okay. Suicide Squad and... You would watch Batman v Superman over Justice Suicide League. Squad and Justice yes. League. Yes. Yeah. So that is and you gave five. it a 7 out of 10 at the time. Do you still ha- stand by that no. rating when you were high on it? <laughs> no. What would you give it now? It's an average film. Just I just l- want to see the fight scenes. Yeah. If it's a fight scene, then yes, I would give it a seven. Okay. Cut out the story and no, everything else. In my opinion, the fight scenes so in that movie are like nine or ten out of ten within the DCEU. So just to cap, Joe, I don't think you're realizing your own ratings. Uh, so is Ju- Suicide Justice League for you is a four out of ten. Suicide Squad is a five out of ten because you said have it. I didn't know what you meant by have it. Is that four out of ten, having the eight, or having the ten down to five? Because you have Suicide Squad at five, and now you're giving Batman v Superman a five, right? And they could be the same rating, and you can like one over the other, sure. even though they're the same rating. We, we can't have point fives or highs or lows. So. Yes, but you can <laughs> like one over the other, well, yeah, even though they're the same rating. Yeah, that's why we have the list. So five out of ten? Yeah. Okay. All right. So uh, let's move on to number four. Number four for me is Aquaman. And for the same reasons that you really liked Batman v Superman's action is what I think holds up Aquaman. And then it takes it even higher because, to me, it gets its characters right. Whereas it, where Batman v Superman had the action and gets its characters wrong, Aquaman has the action. Not only does it have the action, it has epic action, and it gets its characters right, and it goes into deep fucking comic book lore, and it makes Aquaman cool again. And it's got really cool technology. I just love the aesthetics in Aquaman. Aquaman is fucking awesome. I think James Wan did a great job. You're shaking your head, no, but you're fucking you. wrong. I agree with you. The next on my list is also I Aquaman. I also agree. Aquaman is my. It was a lot of fun. Is my, but it was is like my dumb fun. Oh, you're, bo- you're both at, uh, yeah, you're both at four. Alex. I haven't told you where I put Man of Steel yet because okay. I just rewatched it today. Okay. I wanted yeah, to Yeah, my, mine it. is a four. So you at number four yeah. for Aquaman? Aquaman. Aquaman and why did you fun. like Aquaman? Uh, it was a lot of fun. It was entertaining, but uh, it was like a, like a dumb fun. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, really, uh, really dumb, dumb fun. That is one of the stupidest movies in the DCEU, yeah. but it was so much fun. It I think, was a dumb fun ride. But the action was incredible. Like. Aquaman had fun being Aquaman, yeah. which if the you watch the, the other desert th- side thing, the, yeah, that was the, the thing that were, was chemistry did me. not no. work no. at all between him and Mara. Yeah. Yeah. And then the fact that like none of the history made sense where they're talking about like a hundred thousand years ago, like we put these these puzzle pieces that were only built when Rome was. Or, oh, shit. That doesn't work. <laughs> like, oh, no. <laughs> I, I thought they were going to need to blow on it or put water, you know, fifth element and shit with yeah. the little yeah. fucking stones. Like I said, that is what they did. Fun. <laughs> they <laughs> needed water on it. Yeah. You're Do telling me it was just super I dumb. Pee on it. <laughs> So Aquaman for me, though, uh, was a 7 out of 10, and that I rated in 2019, and by then we had a real solid uh, idea of how to critique movies and, and not get overly excited and stuff. So, And I think I was, uh, you know, so 7 out of 10 is a good rating for it, in my opinion. 
OJ rated it also a 7 out of 10. Are you I, staying with yes, a 7 out I'm of 10? Yes, I'm staying by that. Okay. And Alex rated it a 7 out of 10. We're staying at 7. Staying I want to take a point away for that stupid-ass octopus playing the drums. No, I like the octopus. That was That's so That's a dumb. reference to the comic. That was just an Easter egg. It was Come I on. Saw that Super too. stupid. <laughs> In defense of the octopus, I knocked the camera. So there, camera's okay, fixed. Okay, no, see, like I saw that. Other people were like, well, come on. They did an Ant-Man. Remember the ant was playing the drums? Yeah. Come on now. Does it, just because it's stupid in another film doesn't mean I have to like it in this well, film. Like it it, all right, all right. Here we <laughs> go. I liked Aquaman. You should go see it, but it's a 7 out of 10. Okay. Number three, the third best DCEU film is Wonder Woman. Now, I have a lot to say on Wonder Woman. I really, really like Wonder Woman. Now, I'll go all the way back to Jangry Joe, Angry Joe, Angry Joe, way back. I was wrong about Gal Gadot. I think she's a fantastic Wonder Woman. I wanted somebody more bulky, somebody with fighting experience, somebody that show little girls that you don't always have to be the supermodel you magazine. To, you don't have thing, to be right? an Israeli supermodel right. to do it. You can be but she's also Gina a, Carino. Exactly, Gina, Gina Carino. And, but you know what? Gal Gadot fucking nails Wonder mm-hmm. Woman. She knows how to pose. Now, I don't know. Her acting is solid enough, but I don't know. If she, she, she needs support, I think, a little bit. Um, you know, in, in certain scenes, I feel, you know what it was? The reason why I'm questioning her acting, because honestly, when I think about it, in Justice League, she was not very good. Her, no one was good in Justice League. I know, but that's where Wonder Woman came down for me, but that's not fair. If you just look at her in Wonder Woman, she does a fantastic job in acting. She does great action. They got the character right. There are these heroic moments and, and, and having fun with the character, smiling. There's actual emotion in Wonder Woman that yeah. a lot of these other films really lacked. Like the only thing that Wonder Woman really falls apart on is that I didn't really like the supporting team with the World War II guys. And it's, it, it, it copies so much of Captain uh, America, you know, for the first Captain America film that it's – and also – the terrible third act, the the villain no, fight, well, no, no, the CGI. Third act, that, you you can't. You've said that a bunch, and it is not accurate. The third act accurate. of that movie is only half bad. Okay. The last ten minutes yes. of that movie are unforgivable. Yes. but it's not like it's the last half hour. That's true. There's, I just simplify. Yeah, it. but it's. But I, I think that when people say, oh, the third act, it's like, well, that's one third bad. Okay. No, this movie's 90% great you're right. and 10% horrible. Yeah, you're right. But but I was a little more rougher on it sure. than, but than both of you. And yeah. the reason for that, why would I give Wonder Woman a seven when I praise it and praise it and praise it? She's my third favorite superhero of all time. And I think she was the turning point for the DCEU. And she got herself right. The reason is Wonder Woman has been done better. And they were adapting the original Wonder Woman, whereas – Superman, I can look at it as an Elseworlds story. Wonder Woman, they're clearly trying to do the original Wonder Woman. And I've seen it done better in 2009's Wonder Woman. Look it up. It's an animated feature. It's basically the film that we saw in theaters, but the film that we saw in theaters does it worse than the animation. DC animation is so damn good, and you guys need to see that film. So when you have a wealth of Wonder Woman comics and stories and and animations, and you see how she's been handled before, and then you see her done right, finally on the big screen done right, yes, it's great, but I'm it's it's tough love where I give Wonder Woman a 7 out of 10. I mean, by that... That's tough love. By that, like, I would have to give Man of Steel a 4, and that's not fair to Man of Steel. Like, Superman's been no, handled so well. it's not, and well. I'll explain that why. And I'll explain why, because I don't look... Because clearly, when they built Superman, they weren't going for the original Superman. They were not adapting the original Superman. I'm trying to have you realize this concept. <laughs> I just explained it. They were trying to adapt the original Wonder I, Woman. I don't and they executed her very well, mm-hmm. but just not at that high degree yeah, level. But like in Man of Steel, they were executing a completely different Superman, and they executed that well for that type of story. But just because they've done it well in a different medium doesn't <clears throat> mean that it lowers the individual quality of that specific movie. Mm-hmm. Like I don't, you cannot look at Henry Cavill and go like he's he's no Christopher Reeves. The original ones were better. I liked also All Star Superman better. I like Superman Red Sun better, and I do. I like it's not, all not of what those I'm doing. better. Not what I'm doing at all. What I'm telling you, in, in so many ways, is I feel the story is weak, 
and I feel the characterization of Wonder Woman is good in certain parts, but I've seen better, okay? And that's how you rate all movies. You said, we've seen a thousand movies, and now, now that we've refined our criticism and we realize what's out there in comic book movies, and you could compare. That's exactly what I'm doing with Wonder Woman. But see, we always argue on Wonder Woman because he likes Wonder Woman better than I do, and I give a little bit of more tough love to Wonder Woman. Secretly, but, she, but so love. all of these ratings I've actually kind of lowered or stuck with. Wonder Woman is the only fucking film just that I off. might actually consider taking my rating from a seven up to an eight. That, but, but, but that's just showing you the tough love I want to give to Wonder Woman, and I think she has so much room to grow, and I care about her so much that I just need a better villain for her, and I need, uh, uh, I want to see some more from her. Anyway, so that's what my number three is on this yeah number three what is your number three joe shazam so you just saw shazam i did we just saw shazam and i thought it was amazing and i was really it was a great joe feel would... good movie i really liked it it's like something okay. a boy with powers would do like I would how did you exactly like the it? same thing i really enjoyed it um, Did you see all the wish fulfillment, you, you were Joe? You also speaking about the You villain. and me were running around little kids as Superman. Yeah, Did this not fun. touch your heart? It, but to the final act, though, uh -huh. it was very anticlimactic mm -hmm. for me. I wanted like a badass kind of fight. We could talk spoilers like here because when somebody clicks on a video about this, there's been spoilers yeah, all yeah. throughout this. So go ahead and talk spoilers, Joe. So you Whenever, did not no, like it as much no. as I liked like, it? They threatened his family. I, I get in the beginning, he's like, oh, all right, he's learning his powers and some of that. And he's like, oh, all right, now we have your family. Mm -hmm. It's time to man up. I was like, I'm going to try to do whatever I can. But then, like, he's still trying. It doesn't seem like he's actually going full force or anything. When he doesn't use his goddamn the, powers. Yeah, when I, God damn it. it. These guys, when I walked out of the theater, they immediately fucking allied. And the reason, Joe's criticism is there's not enough action in Shazam. And that was Alex's criticism I when refused, he walked out. I there was refused. not enough action in there. 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 And I was like, there was plenty of action. But Where? because because they never show an outright one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, that's not good enough for Joe. What is Shazam's main powers? Shazam's main powers in are this super strength, and lightning. Does so he use his lightning ever? Yes, he uses his lightning plenty of times, but he doesn't use it in combat. Phones. Do you realize this is, he's a 14-year-old kid, and this is the first fight experience he's ever had? Yeah. Well, it's not the, the Shazam other... film where he knows how okay, to fight. Yet... And he does fight, and he does use all those powers, but I will agree, it's cut away. It's off screen. He once, does punch yeah, once Savala. His... Or whatever the fucking doctor's name is. Yeah, the, the, the the demons, Eugene so. gets his powers for half a second. Yes, and the first everybody. thing he does is lightning. And he goes, I'm going to do lightning for That's now That's because on. they were trying to emphasize that each one of those focuses on a specific power. You but notice has... the speed of Mercury. The the uh, the youngest got the, the, the fast speed. Mm. Uh, the strength of Hercules. The fattest got the, the muscles. Mm. The green one. And then Mer and then the blue one is the flight. Uh, and, then, and then the Asian. Asian dude was the the gray one was the electricity so that's why he was using electricity yeah. but Shazam used electricity and it's not we'll get that in the next film he <laughs> he, no so uh, so after Did we argued know? at the parking lot for the longest time about yeah. the action in Shazam we, we both scene. agreed we did <laughs> we both agreed that it would have been nice to see Shazam at least once go <laughs> You know, to one of the demons and really get the demon on his feet and then the demon somehow, you know, uh, uh, fucking morphs or fades away and then they Which go into a drag out punch fight. But these guys just want to see punches. And I'm no, like, that... the fights aren't always like that, especially when you have an inexperienced 14 year old. And I thought the Except action for all was of the fine. inexperienced people within moments of getting their powers fine. know exactly how to use them. And he doesn't use them once. <laughs> OK. Fine. So we saw it for the second time just now today. Yes. And I saw uh, for Shazam the time is well. the inverse Aquaman. Aquaman has a dumbass story with a lot of cool action, epic fights, yes. and amazing CG. Shazam has, t like, touch. it's touching. It's full of heart. The character development's pretty good. I mean, there's some real, the moments where, like, I can see people going, like, I cried in Shazam. Yeah. I, I didn't, but I can see under, understand where people did. Yeah. But emotional. it is action anemic. There are parts where I just want something to happen, and they do the the part. Even a Man of Steel, I don't like. It's like if you have two people fighting while they're flying, I don't care because they're not doing any. They're just like flying off in the distance, like touching each yeah. other, and then going back and doing this. Mm -hmm. 
So, yeah, well, I'm Joe, this, I need your rating for yeah, Shazam. For Shazam. It's your Shazam, number three. I'm going to give it an eight. I love the emotion. An eight out of uh, ten. That's respectable. Great, yeah, it was a great uh, character development. I really felt for Billy mm-hmm. and the family. Mm-hmm. But like I said, at the end, I was like, mm, I expected more. I really wanted to try to get you up to a nine and convince you a nine because <laughs> when I first came out of that, I was so excited. And nine, we'll have to see my rating. So that was your number three, Joe. Alex, yes. what is your number three? Shazam. Ah. Nah. <laughs> what? <Shazam>? Yeah. <laughs> I'm about to jump across the table and celebrate with you because that must mean that my... Anyways, okay, why so, is Shazam your number three? So we, uh, we watched it again today, and I still have all the same problems. Billy Batson is an asshole the entire first third of this movie. God and you're damn like, it, that's not a problem! It wasn't for me. He's, it wasn't for me. I he... Get- steals from a crippled foster kid one day after Alex, meeting him. Alex, he listen. He steals $600 from a crippled foster yes, kid. Yes, that's terrible. But look here. The wizard had no choice. Sure. Billy Batson was good enough I'm not saying he to wasn't. take a risk. I'm just saying that when you have this but character. But in order to make that point, they have to show that he's stealing from crippled children. No, here's children. the thing. I really, they I, they I made their it, point, though. and then they stole from a crippled child. I believe it, though, because like his whole thing is like, I need to get back to my mom. I need to do this. And he wants to get back to his mom. He wasn't, but like you could see the transition. It was yeah. a good transition. Eventually. Yeah. And that's why Shazam yeah. has way more emotion in it than Aquaman. Aquaman has zero Emotion. Exactly. No, I said they're, they're inverses yeah. of each other. The other thing, so the other part about Billy that I don't enjoy is he lets a cripple boy get hit by a car yes. and get beat up for no reason. And then only <laughs> selfishly does he yes. go help him. Yes. And that is the reason that he's the champion. Yeah. So they went overboard there. I hated Freddy for 10 minutes of this movie. They have this weird side plot where it's like, you're the superhero and you need to come to lunch because I'm an idiot. Yes, I like that another, part. No, I didn't like that. Oh, they they put too much. No, I okay. like where like. They're sidekicks and yeah. stuff like that. That's great. But they were dwelling on that way too hard. Mm-hmm. It's like, well, you have to do this for me. He's like, come on. But he's like, you're, it's just as much mine as it is yours. It's, uh, yeah. But in no way but is it to, his whatsoever. But that these are little kids' minds. And this is the way we were. If you were in middle school and you got these fucking powers, this is how you would think. This is how you would deal through it. And that is a I part of be, a character I arc. I be that guy. That's being part of super the jealous. fucking character <laughs> no. arc. You would be super jealous of my powers, Joe. Would, if I turned into Shazam I and would. you were my manager, would you not be jealous? of Shazam's powers and would you not say well you need to come to lunch and support me Does here that like that's me? the least that you, that's the least you could do because no. you have all these powers no. that n- no, no it doesn't no. sound like you exactly. no. that sounds more like that. me it sounds I would terrible never do that. and it's just it's something that like I already love Freddy the like, entirety of secret. the movie but this part but, but you're but the, but it was false conflict. You have to understand there's fisted. mistakes. They make mistakes. I'm not saying it's a positive thing. I'm saying it's a, it's a mistake. I could have done without. Yeah, yeah, and well, they no, learn from it by the end of the film is what that. I'm saying. I know he disagrees because they reward him at the end of the film with an appearance from Shazam and even Superman. Yeah, and then they give him the powers on top of it, and he's the worst he kid to the give the powers. powers and so there's like there's a lot of flaws with this. This okay. movie's great. You should go see it. This is the movie yeah. you should see this weekend. But this movie. But they're trying to argue me down from a nine it because is they don't think it's as no, they don't think it's as great as I think it is. And I think it's an eight. Because it's lacking the action, but it has the emotion, it has the family, it has the fun, yeah. it, it gets its character so right. Uh, you guys are wrong. <laughs> what, see, so for me, I look at what <laughs> expectations I had going into a comic book movie uh-huh. with a hero that is like on par with Superman, and I got some of them. But I mi- I got it almost a goose egg in one of the the, the or I want to see this kid finally use his powers uh-huh. and he only uses his powers to run away. Okay, so uh, <laughs> Joe, you gave Shazam an eight uh, just now. Well, I'm sticking Alex, to it. You gave Shazam a seven. Okay. Are you sticking to seven? Yep. Okay. So moving on to the second film in the Justice League universe, according to the best list, my list, and that is. Shazam! <laughs> Shazam is a damn fine film for all the reasons I just fucking stated. These guys are wrong. The action is there. But the reason why the action isn't drag out punch fight is because he's inexperienced. He's a 14 year old. And they were cutting away a lot uh, from the main fight to focus on the family fighting and the main fight over here. So he probably did fire lightning and he does fire lightning. They're wrong about that as well. And One Alex second. was wrong in the spoiler section of Shazam. 
Shazam, where he said that Mary never does shit. Mary does three critical things in the film. Mary fires the BB that nearly destroys uh, doc the doctor's eye, ki killing him outright or that, getting rid of his powers you, outright. So that's not, that's, that's not Mary. True. That's not true at all. That is. It but is yes, he grabs it at the last minute, but she has the bravery and the balls to do that Shh. and the accuracy to do well, that. Well, it's that's a good. That is so what Hawkeye, Mary does. Hawkeye won Avengers because he shot that one arrow and that one time, two, and you then said, he caught it, and it was you cool. You said Mary didn't do shit when the demon attacked her. You you were wrong. She grabs all of his tentacles and throws him on the ground, and that she never throws a punch. She never gets to do anything. You were wrong again because in the background, and I saw this again. I was looking specifically at Mary, and I was staring <laughs> at your motherfucking head. How are you doing? She close? is. She's the only one, and you know how they said there's they had no a fight punching. Team? She's the only one that really did the. The thing that they want. You see her in the background beating the fuck out of that. That demon. should be Dar Darla. Center. Darla had like seven times the screen time, she did. and the guy who could lift had five times the screen time. The guy who could fly, Freddy, of course, had an incredible amount of screen time. No, and they, they didn't. You think the guy in green had way more screen time he, than Mary? He's the only one that does one satisfying superhero thing. You know he, who I think got fucked in that? The green one. He doesn't super really strength. get he do, yeah but his super strength is he holds up a Ferris wheel and he punches a demon. They all punch demons and he punched a demon. The I other know. the other ones are like eh. And I he, wanted he, him to get more because I was like, you know what? I, I is this Joe? Would this he, be Joe? Because yeah. Joe wants big muscles. Joe wants big beard, <laughs> right? And Joe's Hispanic. The dude, the dude's Hispanic. So there's Joe. <laughs> That's Joe for I, you. I, I will still stand that Mary got the least amount of screen time for probably one of the most important. Like, she's more important than, than the Darla. Others. And then right, the other. Right. I mean, what's In the Freddy. comics, she is. Freddie. Yeah. yeah, and then she got <clears throat> very little screen time. She didn't do very much for me. Uh, anyways, so uh, just explaining that these guys are wrong because Shazam is wish fulfillment it's great so for yeah any that was that was yours yeah that was so my whole on so but i'm gonna give you my rating oh okay. so i initially gave it a nine out of ten and upon re-watching it and even in the review i said this is the last film i'm going to do the excited thing for because even in that review i was saying maybe the critic in me is an eight and he's like, this is the last film I'm giving a 9 out of 10. But because we're going in and we're revising our ratings and we're trying to take this very, very serious and yeah, we're well, rating it after we've watched it multiple times and ranking it against the other films within the DCEU, Shazam is an 8 out of 10. It's not a 9 out of 10. And, that, and <laughs> the reason for that is, is several fold. There, you know, Shazam, uh, here's another thing. This is separate. Shazam soundtrack, there is no soundtrack. There's no theme for Shazam. It really makes me mad. Um, and I can understand your guys' point about the I, lack of action. I thought that Shazam has the best soundtrack montage of anything in the DCU. No, there's no doubt. Like I was, I, I was humming the Ramones. Squad. Don't want to grow no, up. Well, Queen. Well, yes, Suicide no, squad. it's got a great soundtrack, but he doesn't have a hero theme. Yeah. Yeah. Sing me Shazam's theme. You can't. I can't sing any Nobody of can. It's it's Danny, awful. Danny Elfman's not it in the universe. So it completely disappears to me in anymore. that film. Anyways, um, and I'm worried that it's a little overstuffed with the Marvel family. I think we could have saved that and focused a little bit more on Shazam himself, and maybe we would have seen those drag out fights with the villain and uh, come into terms with his powers better if we didn't have to worry about There's the family. There's a lot of marketing there for Batman and Superman. Like yeah. Well, moves. I love that too. I loved all uh, those yeah, little saying, little drops like to Superman everywhere. and Batman. And I'm Batman when he throws that fucking toy at the doctor. It's hilarious as he's chasing him down. I just love it. It's a, it's a fantastic ride. So you know, it's like a nine out of ten, but it's an eight out of ten. All right. Well, so yeah, that's well, that was my my second. What is your uh, second? Wonder Woman. Uh huh. Okay. And your rating for Wonder Woman. You rated it an 8 out of 10 at I the time. With that one. You stand by yeah, an 8 I out really of 10. Tell me why Wonder characters. Woman for I you. I love the story on that. Mm -hmm. uh, it just like a usual, fell apart at the end. I did not like the villain. The, vil the villain, they, they just can't seem to get the villain right. In DCEU, yeah. man, they just, their villains are all fucking terrible. That's a great point. The Shazam villain was not mm -hmm. all that great. I wish they'd fleshed him out a little yeah, bit more. I, I liked him more better. than a lot of the yeah, other sure. villains because yeah. he is fleshed out in it, but he is fleshed out, but he just doesn't reach any heights because he's your standard. Like, he's I'm evil gonna because I'm evil. Because oh, I'm okay, evil. Cool. He's evil because he's evil. But he's fleshed out evil <laughs> because he's evil, at least. 
What is your second? I don't know. We already talked <laughs> a lot. So the thing it. is, my my well, you top. You know your second. My, we already know your second. My wow, top. Know, no, no, maybe. I don't. My top two are tied. Like, <gasps> like for sure. They're both, in my opinion, eight out of ten. What? And I just watched both I'm of them with the last I'm two I'm gonna days. buy you a beer. This is. You never <laughs> buy is, me a beer. I'm gonna buy you a beer. This is unexpected. This is unexpected. The, I am so happy with you, yeah. Alex. You are my new best friend, what Joe. Happened? You've been. Oh, okay. Fuck. <laughs> um, I think. Man, it's it's tough because I really I actually like both of these films for wildly different reasons. Okay. There are serious flaws with Man of Steel, and that yes. that I just th- unforgivable. No like, how there. dare you? You made General Zod. Uh, I'm eugenics caste system like space not genocidal space Nazi. It's like, but, but why? And then in Wonder Woman, we made Ares this creepy pedophile mustache, <laughs> mustache. toddler yes. fight where it's like, yeah, I, I, I hit you with the laser. No, I'm immune to lasers. And I'm the CGI throw was so bad. And I'm going to throw asphalt at you. Well, I'm, I'm going to make that asphalt into armor. Well, I shot you with the laser beam. Well, I absorbed the laser beams and I shoot it back at you. <laughs> that sounds and like it was fighting. terrible. <laughs> it was terrible. So the lows that, in Wonder Woman were low. really low. Yeah. But Wonder Woman was like was more consistent. consistent all the way through. Mm-hmm. The problem is that first 20 minutes of Man of Steel, like I didn't realize I wanted like the the uh, a series on the last year of Krypton as bad as I do after yeah. watching that 20 minutes. It's it, fucking it's, it's, amazing. It's fleshed out. There's some parts where they cut it kind of dumb and they, they so Man of Steel has some problems with on the editing room yeah. where they say something and you're like, man, that's horrible. And then they say something a little bit later and you're like, oh, that's not as bad. And it's because they probably filmed a three-hour movie and had to cut it to two hours and 20 minutes because yeah. it's still a long film. Um, I think I'm going to like, I'm going to say my number two is Wonder Woman. Yeah! yeah! <laughs> because that this will is a bring us. Yeah. I was waiting for like four or five. No, I mean that, okay, but then that that means what is your rating for Wonder Woman then? An A. An eight. Your Wonder Woman rating is an eight out of ten. Yeah, I think that Wonder Woman could have been nine or ten out of ten. Had they changed some things in the story, I think that the development, like the her, they're introducing her as a character. Out of the park, best job in almost any of the comic universe that we've seen in actual real film. Period. I don't think there's a, a, an origin story. They didn't do any of the tired crap. We didn't see, like, pearls fall on the ground. We didn't spend 30 <laughs> minutes in Kansas. We got a world that we hadn't seen a whole lot of. They flushed it out really well. They set up this, like, super naive, almost Superman-esque person. <laughs> they they had someone kind of guide her through all that stuff. Eve, yeah. But then we got into, Fish like, out of water. bad guys that are... Awful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, then, and so, I'm hoping they correct that in the sequel. Oh, it looks terrible. But here's the thing. And you would have knew this was coming already. My number one film is Man of Steel. Man of Steel wins. Yep. yep. I, I agree with that. Oh, yes, Joe, of course. I got you. Yeah, okay. you did. But I'm shocked with this guy. I know, right? What the hell is all that shit talking? Hey, look, I love talking shit, and it's super fun. But (laughs) out of all, yeah, piss me off. It is, it is, it is a really solid film. I want to buy you a beer, Alex. Buy me a beer. I want to buy you a beer. (laughs) I'm so happy we are at a consensus that Man of Steel is number one. And I know what you're saying. Oh no, you are so biased. You look, you wear the shirt, and Joe, you love. Yeah, you're right. I am biased, but I can defend my position. Yes, I'm biased, but also this is the best. CEU film and in many different aspects it has the best action it has the best soundtrack it has the best villain it has character oh. development it has emotional moments it, it has almost everything great visuals the uh, effects still hold up yeah. if you look at all the effects of the other like Wonder Woman and some of these other ones if you go back and look 2013 it took 3 years for other DCEU films to come out and you would think that the CG wouldn't hold there up was a, there's parts of it that doesn't hold up but it holds up surprisingly yeah. well there were scenes in Shazam that we saw today that were worse than i think anything i can remember seeing Man of Steel earlier today yeah and and the, it's just iconic and and i get i get this but even i could admit that it has major faults uh, you know, it, it, but it just has a lot of strengths too. It is the best villain in the DCEU. Who's the better villain than, than Superman? Is it fuck? Is it Steppenwolf? Lex no. Luthor. 
Is it fucking <laughs> Charlie Rancher? Is it, oh god. Is it fucking Lex Luthor? No. Is it fucking Ares? No. Is it fucking Enchantress? No. Is it well, who else was in there? You can't even remember the dude's name for Shazam. It's, it's super funny. Fucking Doctor Zavala, Zavani, uh, fucking you can't either. No. Not you not what, what is it? I think it's Savannah. I don't know. Don't Stefani. Know. It's Gwen Stefani. No, it's, it's actually it's company, fucking right? Zod. Because in Man of Steel, you can look at that film as Zod as the hero. If you were born on Krypton, Zod is the hero of that film. Yeah. You obviously he's the bad guy. I'm not saying he's a good fucking guy. He's evil as fuck. I, I think if even if from the Kryptonian point of view, the guy go he's like ca- like cartoon over the I top. I have an going. explanation for that. Cartoon what do you mean cartoon? What are you the talking about? The first thing he does is he murders a couple people and then he says, He's You're- a military general. He doesn't give a fuck. No, I get that. The only thing he cares about is his people, his that's all he cares about is his people. But the first thing he says is, your bloodlines are weak and I'm taking over. And then jor goes, wait a minute. You want to take over because you want to decide what bloodlines move on. He He's, talks about the caste system and eugenics and all of this other crap. I mean, that's to a, establish the bad guy. That's the first thing that we get. And then he, this military master gets his ass kicked by the head scientist. Yes. No, what I'm telling you is, right, he's an empty shell. And he's also lying about the eugenics. I've been, I just came up with this because I know you we're going to bring up the Nazi thing and the eugenics. I just, no, I just, I, okay. The reason why is he's false posturing. He, he's obviously, uh, I mean, fucking Superman's father kicks his ass, but he ultimately wins. The general ultimately wins. Yeah. And the thing is, is he was just coming up with all those excuses because you're right. He ultimately just wanted power. And so he was using whatever he thought that the audience, uh, the, the, that the masses would accept and that his own followers would accept. He probably manipulates people, everybody around him so that he can have the power. So he may believe in that. He may not. But what he does believe in is making sure his, his planet is dying. Sure. And then when he's fighting superman he's like you basically just killed all of my people i have no chance now krypton is gone yep. and i know what you care about and now i am going to kill every single one of your people the sure. things that you care about but he was gonna every s- single one of these humans i'm gonna fucking he murder and anyway. you're gonna watch it and it's your fault superman he was terraforming the earth 20 minutes before that he's a, ba- he's a he was, bad guy. He was killing everyone on Earth anyway. He's a fucking bad I'm guy. I'm not saying that he's not supposed to do bad things. I'm just saying that I he, will was, find him. he was so <laughs> over the top and so unnecessary. Like, the other yes, thing Yes, but he was entertaining. He is no. the best Mr. villain. Freeze. You, I know you're arguing That's against me, but even you agree he's with me that he's the best villain because in the DCU. villains are bad. Yes, you're right. That's DCU one of the has a villain problem. things in DCU, because that's why... For me, I felt to give any of these movies a nine. Zod is, this is a for me. This is an eight. Mm-hmm. Yeah. None of these deserve a nine. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, we you, you're, you're wrong. The the DCEU actually achieved a nine once out of these seven films, and it was with Man of Steel. That's your opinion. <laughs> <laughs> that but you both opinion. put Man of Steel number one, but yes. you don't put it as high. So your rating is what? Eight out of ten. An eight out of ten. And what's your rating? Eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. Okay, I give it a nine out of ten, and I look at it through the lens. Yes, I look. I, I am biased. Yes, but I I look at it through the lens as an Elseworld story, as the greatest sci-fi. So it, there's the elements of sci-fi in this movie are so good. The opening on Krypton, don't you in fucking enjoy it? You told me you yeah, enjoyed it. Yeah, it was amazing. It's that was fucking good. amazing. The, the, what Eight happens out of 10 after is... that, that's where it starts dipping for me. Yeah, This movie is great. It is oh, an 8 out of 10. Oh, you during the character development, during redoing the origin story? Yes, it has pacing problems. Look, I'm not saying that Man of Steel is is a 10 out of 10, though I might you're have saying, said that in the past. Nine, <laughs> nine's really high. <laughs> yeah, it it's... it's but it is. It is for that particular story. And look, when Man of Steel first came out, everybody gave it so much shit because Superman. Because number one, Superman kills in it, and number two, there's tons of destruction. But both of those things have fucking reasons to them. And the third thing, I agree with. I fucking hated the take that it's a little too dark. It's a little too mor- morose. Superman never fucking smiles. He does smile. He smiles twice. I counted him. He smiles when he, when he's in the the prison, or you know, when he's talking to Lois Lane. But that's a sexy smile. He's trying to put on he sees a girl he likes and the second time is when he's flying and it's this weird go look on the internet type in man of steel smile you will not find him smiling in the film he does this weird smile his vein is popping because he's flying so goddamn fast and he's enjoying the flying part but there needed to be 
more of that. There needed to be that rescuing a cat out of a tree moment. I'm not saying literally he needs to rescue a cat out of a tree like Christopher Reeves, but something that connects him more with the people that he's trying to save. And yes, he makes that ultimate sacrifice between Krypton and Earth when he snaps Zod's head because if he doesn't do this, it, it's so I'm so tired of people. Oh, it's so stupid. The eye lasers would have killed these four people, and it was that is a symbol for what he's really going to do. Yes, if he if he even gets out of that situation, he's going to murder everybody on Earth. It's not just about that small situation. It's about everything he's about to do. Yeah, and Superman that. had to make that choice, killing his last fucking brother, killing his, you know, uh, you know, a fellow Earthling from there, uh, Kryptonian. And and it, so all these things had reasons. And I, that's why I defend this film as an world story. It's yeah. not the Superman from the comics that we know. He's not going to save everybody. This is literally somebody thrust into an alien invasion that has to fight 40 versions of him that are just as powerful as him and that are military trained. And yet he somehow finds a way to rise above it. And I like the destruction that they had at the end. Like, yes, it's very chaotic. And it's like real world. He can't save everybody. He's doing his best. Yes. Mm -hmm. But he, I don't have a there, and there are man. character it's arcs in here. There's emotion when he goes to save his mother, and you get the punching. And I know Joe loves it when there's <laughs> punching and the fucking thing. Superman punches the fuck out of it. It's people. a comic book superhero movie. You expect him to beat somebody up. Yeah. That's what they do in every single comic he, book movie. When he movie. defends his family, he the the punch. problem that I had with towards the end and the reason that it gets that it loses some points for me is the the Zod inter Superman interaction in the last ten minutes are garbage. And Zod's like, it's going to be you or me. It's like, yeah, we, we, we established that. You're going to kill. You've said multiple times, and you even tried to kill everyone on Earth, and you said you were going to kill my mom. Like, when was it not going to be you and me? And he's like, well, only one of us can survive. It's like, well, you've been he's, fighting. He's him. trying to recruit Superman. He doesn't want to do it because he's – he feels Superman's bloodline is good and it's above everybody else. And he's like, you could, you could just join me. And th that's why he's trying to keep Superman alive. And then finally, when he realizes, well, you just destroyed my ship well, with all my I'm, pods. The thing I'm there needed to be a scene of Zod looking at all the dead Kryptonians on that ship that's crashed and pods and him turning around to Superman and like... He does, there is actually one. He's holding the ashes oh, of that's the, right. the Genesis chamber. That's so right. they, they, do, they do explain the emotion that. and all that stuff is good. That's what I fucking love about but it. That, but that the problem is all of the parts afterwards yes. where they set up this... Thing no, and I, I don't, get you. I don't have the problem when he breaks the neck and the, the people. Okay. The problem but is that's what a lot of the problems online were with the yeah, film. Yeah, that I don't, I don't, I don't care shit. about them. The problem is like <laughs> getting to that point where I never for for a second thought that they weren't going to kill each other because they had been trying to kill each other the entire time. So that's I don't fine. understand. Like there was no. Uh, oh, he doesn't want to kill the last one. It's like they're in that's the, the final zone. battle. What it did lack it is it lacked it that Superman moment. I wanted him to smile as he cr as he crossed the screen, just like Christopher Reeves would do that throwback, mm -hmm. that that cat out of the tree moment. You know, in Shazam, remember in the Shazam yeah. climax, he gets knocked into a fucking prize booth. And inside the prize booth, we find that there's a father holding his daughter. His daughter is terrified. That you remember good, that scene? Yes, yep. that and and scene. and because Shazam like really liked the tigers when he was back at the carnival, he sees this terrified girl. He grabs a tiger. He says, "Here, you can have it. Hold it tight." And she says, "Yeah." And he, she holds it tight and, and and tries to make her forget about what's happening around her. That small yes, character moment. Okay. That is what. <laughs> that's what Superman lacked. That's what Man of yeah. Steel lacked. And I hated the Jesus imagery. The second he went for integrating, what would it really be like if Superman was in real world? Would no, you know what? The real world fucking sucks. And that's why the film didn't work as an, a traditional Superman film because you want to aspire to be something better. You want to have the hope. And this was about you know the the cynicism of the real world and how would people look at him? Well, they look at him like Jesus. And then he went full well, force he has to with go the sacrifice Jesus imagery. himself for the good of the world. I fucking hated the Jesus imagery stuff because Same. Superman is not like that. Yeah. He would do what Shazam did in that particular instance. He wouldn't do what he does in the film where he's like, you know, what that that moment where he's hovering above that lady who's on the, the top of the house and he's just he's just sitting there. It's like fucking save her. Don't sit there in fucking shadow. I fucking hated it. it it pissed me off because he wouldn't be doing that shit. But that is a different – it's a different Superman. So the Jesus stuff brought it down, and I look at it as an Elseworld story, a sci-fi story, and uh, a story of a Superman that's inexperienced that comes into his own. And it's set up perfectly for that sequel. And when, when did it come out? 
2013. Mm. We're never getting it because we don't even have a Superman actor anymore. How sad is it going to be? We're getting Suicide Squad 2. Before. It's Man's called th- The Suicide Squad. It's actually oh, a reboot, I'm Joe. Sorry. I can't believe we're going to get a fucking reboot before Superman gets his proper sequel that he started the whole fucking DCEU. He has the best film, the best villains, the best soundtrack. You still hear that song? When I hear that, doo doo. <laughs> you still know what yes. song that's from. If I hum it, people know what the fuck that's from. N- sing Shazam's theme song. Shazam! <laughs> <laughs> you can't. Yeah, yeah you, you can't, can't sing Runaway and Anyways, not powers. It, Man of Steel is fucking awesome. It's not the best film ever. It's not a 10 out of 10. You can argue that it's, it's not, a, not a 9 out of 10. It is. Which we have. And that's where that... Come on, I put. I will admit, there's some bias in there. I, I and that's you're my eight out of ten. Too. That's my number one. But I'm still. But you're being a eight. critic, and you're saying it's an eight. Yes. It's not a nine. It is a All deeply right. flawed film that they could. I want. Them I don't to think realize. it's deeply flawed. I think there are flaws in it, but it gets the core ideas right. Hey, just take you the win the, from can, a different angle. Just take you can the, get win. the You can get the core ideas correct, is but it, then if you you have to cut one. out the, the I, it is his number one. one. It is. It is my number one. I want them to goddamn. Improve. I want them to listen to what people are saying about their films and fix it. Right. Yeah. So. Everyone watched Batman v Superman and they hated it so much. They radically changed the rest of the, the DCU. rest of the DC. And so, if you tell them that their shit don't stink and their shit is horrible, yeah. then they're going to continue to make this garbage that they were making. Right. And they wouldn't have started a course correct. Like you got to be honest with the people. And now they're not going to listen to this. Yeah. But the, if everyone just says, "Oh, I like your stuff because I'm a Superman fan," they're not going to make the things that right. you want to see. I can't. I. I, I, I I'll die happy men if they come around and make Man of Steel 2 with the attitude that DC and the DC and WB has right now where they're realizing it's superhero fantasy. It's superhero fa- fun. It's mm-hmm. it's above. It's rising to what these characters were in the comics, not forcing them into the morose real world of oppression and, yeah. and, and emo and darkness and what it would be like and distrust. and, and mis- We could tackle those things, but we could do it later after you've set up these characters, after you've had this, this thing. They did it fucking reverse, and now they've wasted their two heavy like hitters. I will bring a wheelchair. I will take you to the movies in the We'll wheelchair. do it together, Joe. We'll yes. be there. <laughs> we'll, we'll fucking have to be wheeling each other then. Well, actually, will you work dead. out more than me, so I'll probably be in the wheelchair We'll hire first. some sexy nurses. And oh. Alex will be there. He'll be in the wheelchair, too. He's a tall motherfucker. I will be dead. True. No, you won't be dead. You'll just be. Eight. We'll, <laughs> we'll finally get to see Man of Steel 2 in 2037. <laughs> Hate it is. Because if you <laughs> look... <laughs> Because no. if you look on the docket, man, there's no fucking Superman film. They got everything planned for the next Except six, for seven Superman. years, and there's well, not a Superman. Well, no, it, it doesn't go that far. I think it goes to 2021 or 20. And, I thought we are at 20. Oh, so okay. the earliest we might see a Superman, even if they fast track it, would be 2020, like two. And when did the first Man of Steel come out? 2013. So how many years is that? A long ass time. Nine, Nine years. years. And then Henry's not on board, that, right? Isn't yeah. that fucking crazy? And I hope it's well, Henry, but he not. might be too old well, by then. Yeah, but here's the thing. And and within a span of like three or four years, I forgot the exact number, Man of, or Iron Man got three films. Hey, In the time it took them. Well, we already getting, um, but I only two. liked one of them. I like two of them. Did you and like parts two? Of, and I parts like of parts of two. I think two. Parts well, of two and three. That's All right, that's anyways, that's a different video. Maybe so we yes, might do that, that, that video. List. What is your list? We're kind of curious this about This was well. the only list. Your list does not matter. My list matters. Oh, I'm just playing. Wait, our list matters. Okay, fine. Y'all's you list You made me do matter. my list for All nothing. Right. <laughs> Everybody's list matters. Put your list in the comments yes. below. We want to see them. We want to know why we're wrong. But one thing that I've got to point out is that our worst film is the same and our best film is the same. Yep. Justice League is the worst. Suicide Squad is not as bad as everybody says it is. No, wait. Actually, Second y'all worst. think it's as bad no, as everybody No, not quite as bad as everyone says it you is. You said it's a four out of ten. Everyone thinks it's yeah. like a one or a two. Okay. Like, but if you watch it again, thing. it's fucking entertaining as fuck, and I will not apologize for that. You're right. It's not as good as I originally said it was, but it's not as bad as everybody says it is. It's just a meme at this point. Anyway, and the best film is still Man of Steel. We're not saying that Man of Steel is flawless, and we are saying that it has just All as many problems or more problems than Wonder Woman and Shazam, but just problems in a different way, and what it gets right extends to the highest heights, and what it gets wrong isn't as low as some of the lows in the 
other ones. And this is where this is our list. This is where these rank. We want to know where yours rank. Mm -hmm. What I want to end with is the DCEU at seven films right now is going in the right direction. And I want to see this list get up to 10, and I want to see the next three films be That's really be well. Where will it stumble? We've got, you know, Birds of Prey coming. We've got Joker coming, but that's a standalone. That's that not, does yeah, not so. count DCEU. Uh, we've got The Batman, and, uh, you know. Is that in development, hell, though? Yes, development. It's it's being developed. It, it's, it's got a date. Uh, so Batman, Birds of Prey, we know for sure. And then there's, like, one other, and then, you know, there, there's, like, Untitled projects and it gets just fucking Aquaman messy. Aquaman 2. I'm oh Aquaman 2 yeah. fast track because it made a billion dollars. <laughs> damn you know a lot of money. So anyways thank you guys so much for watching this extremely long video. We love talking comic book characters especially my boy and the DC universe. We're catching up. It's Sunboard. getting better. It's getting better. We're doing what we should have done previously not copying Marvel and now doing our own thing and I cherish the day when I think after Endgame, Marvel's probably going to lose steam and DC will pick it up. And I want to see this back and forth. It's good for competition. Okay, There doesn't need to be competition. They just both need to make good stuff. It's good for movies. <laughs> you're, you're, he's right. Yeah, they go so make good movies, movies so I, I can watch them. Go movies. make good movies so we can watch them. Thank you so much for watching. See you on the next Angry Joe Show. Bye.